Astrotometry log. It is May 5th, 2010. It's approximately 2009 UTC. This is a follow-up on the follow-up from the 4th, and I had extended the earthquake watch down across the uh, equator, and USGS just recorded a 6.6 .6 in magnitude event that was revised to 6.3 in the moment magnitude scale. Um, this is something that USGS does with the uh, magnitudes now. This is the Richter scale on the 6.6 .6 is the automatic recording uh, from the Richter equipment and then they re they look at the amount of movement and revise it to moment magnitude. And this is um, something that might be related to the increasing solar extractivity um, in the core weather model. This increasing x-ray activity when it increases um, gradually like this um, rather than being um, large spikes you know in the middle of nowhere um, the this activity gives the uh, opportunity for movement in uh, multiple times rather than in a single time and so um, it could be that the moment magnitude um, might be a good indicator of that um, the um, it's in any in either case it's good to have the two separate scales um, but do know that when uh, you see something that shows up as 6.6 .6 and then it gets revised to 6.3 it's just because the USGS is using a different scale now this is the older scale on the old scale it would have been 6.6 .6, but on the new scale it's a 6.3 and the um, it, while the x-ray acti activity is increasing the uh, geomagnetic activity uh, associated with this this particular uh, coronal hole is um, dying down now and so this is what is generally referred to as, as a geomagnetic storm we're seeing the end of end of that and what I'm expecting is that this is that this may may continue that we may see more of this activity because we're still inside uh, what's called a solar wind stream from this uh, coronal hole. You can see here on May 3rd, uh, we went into this, uh, this period of, of higher than normal uh, solar wind, and we're not out of it yet. And we won't be out of it until the influence from this hole uh, has passed. And in astrotometry, it's actually understood that <clears throat> the, the causal relationship between uh, these events and the um, the uh, earthquake activity and even this these geomagnetic disturbances are not um, are not the way we model them in three dimensions. In other words, there's a uh, relationship that exists between the uh, way that the Earth is moving through time that produces both the this um, influence and the perception of the disturbance on the sun. And I know that's very complicated. Um, but that's how I'm looking at this, and that's how I was able to uh, derive uh, some of these techniques. Um, but this watch will not end until we're this this solar um, ex this solar wind stream is um, back towards what it was previously, and there have been um, several sunspots that have formed in the past few days, which is you know, coincident with this with this uh, increase in X-ray activity, and as long as this increases, it, it's more of a ch there's more of a chance that whatever activity is remaining, um, unless there's a big spike, um, that that whatever activity is remaining will uh, remain fairly low, and so it could be that we've seen um, all of the major activity uh, from. Uh, this uh, disturbance for now, um, but uh, the watch will not end until this uh, solar wind has has come back to a normal, um, more nominal uh, level. So thanks for watching.